Hey, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? It's D about to react to this vid by Maury's title. They just made themselves look worse. So apparently, KSI, uh, Mr. Beast, and Logan Paul are involved in some nonsense. What is going on? Everybody is going down. <laughs> Everybody. What What is happening in the world? Let's see what's going on with them. Let's watch. All righty, ladies and gents, boys and girls. So today, you know, I heard about some news surrounding Logan what Paul, KSI, and Mr. Beast of all people. Like the three most hated people, I believe, right now on the internet are in boats together in some kind of business triangle where they are now collaborating with releasing a specific product, which in my opinion, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugar. You guys know how I am. I am not going to sugarcoat anything. They just released a product by the name of Lunch League. Now in this product, of course, they have their own drink prime that Logan Paul and KSI came out with like last year, the year before. Apparently, they made hundreds of millions of dollars off of that. And now they decided to incorporate it in collaboration with Mr. Beast to come out with a product that, that is literally shit. a straight ripoff of Lunchables. I'm gonna be completely frank here. Upon seeing this shit, I'm like, bro, what the hell? Oh my god, no way. Like, how are you gonna come out in the year of 2024 with the single most hated man on the internet right now, Mr. Beast and KSI, whose reputation has gone down the road? And Logan Paul, you know, a lot of people don't even like him because he's repeatedly scamming his audience. Wait, y'all saying it's nasty? Multiple times What's for these cryptocurrency scams. I don't even know if he's paid back any of the people that he's supposed to be giving these money back to, but in the year 2024, coming out with a ripoff of Lunchables to try and manufacture and distribute and and poison the kids. The already fat as fuck kids that exist today. Yeah. Like, they don't need any more overly refined factory processed meats and carbs and overly caffeinated sugary drinks. Mama, may I have cookie? No, diabito. Roll back to kitchen. Oh. But here was the grand reveal <laughs> that Logan Paul K.S. Hyman Mr. Beast did on Instagram Live. Perhaps you are familiar with this product. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh, wow. they yeah. took the shit about So, Elizabeth? if you look closely, this product has... I used to eat these girls by the an entree mm. and a drink. Wait, wait, wait. A drink, a drink, some salad? chocolate. Yep, some chocolate. And, uh, and an wait, entree. Wait, wait, wait. And they call some I don't want to chocolate. Chocolate. A drink. a drink. When I found out Capri is a place, I was like, oh. This is where it comes from, Capri Sun, from the sun in Capri. <laughs> and an entree. And an entree. Yeah. Okay. Perhaps you guys are piecing this together. I think it's in Italy or France. One of them. So as you can see right now, KSI and Logan Paul Mr. Beast, you know, they're just kind of prepping the audience, setting up the narrative to say, oh my God, Lunchables is unhealthy. Like, you don't want your kids to be eating this. Look at the chocolate, the processed meat, the crackers. But now, let's talk about how healthy our version of Lunchables is. I... Yeah, it is. Well, we, we grew up eating. It's a thing. It's, it's a thing, but it's been around forever. Mm. Yeah, we don't have to go no, 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 no. Ass kid over here. If he wasn't on camera, wouldn't you have devoured rude. that box of lunch. Is that what you're really trying to sell the audience? Stop it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, but get out of here, little boy. You know them. <laughs> but they ain't shit because they know what they're doing with this little boy. We have a drink. Here, you want to hold it? Here it is. So of course at this point they prop up their drink. Crime. The drink I refuse to drink because first of all, I ain't putting whatever the hell they got in that bottle inside my body. I'm gonna be honest, man. I've already abused my body for many years and enough is enough. I already seen how the Good lawsuit went down with Logan Paul scamming his entire fan base with the cryptocurrencies and the NFTs. And as far as I can tell, nobody got their money back. So if I decide to consume crime and something happens to my body, my heart, I pass out for whatever the fuck reason and try to sue these dudes, like I'm pretty sure it's a rat for me. It's a GG, bro. You hydration beverage? I sell chocolate. We came together what you to try? create a Lunchables competitor featuring the fastest prone hydration beverage ever and the fastest prone beverage ever. And so we did that. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to introduce you to Lunch Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Wow. So they just came out with the most unhealthy thing you could possibly give your kid right now on a daily basis for lunch by combining Prime and Mr. B snacks into one highly processed factory we'll made give you more sugar. GMO and forever okay, chemicals that they want to sell your kids. So ladies and gentlemen, please don't buy this shit. I'm going to be honest. Do not buy this shit. Like, no hate to my fellow content creators or my fellow YouTubers. I understand we all try to come out with merch, hats, hoodies, slushies, tins, and all that shit. Like, that's innocent stuff, disposable. Like, that's stuff you put on your body. But this stuff, when it comes to putting inside your body, like, I don't 
play with that. I'm not going to mess with that, man. And I'm not going to support this because it's obviously not healthy. And if I wouldn't put it in my and body, why would I want you guys yeah. to put it in yours? Like, duh. No hate, but like, what the? And of course, you know, we have one of the biggest YouTubers to ever exist, Dan, the Diamond Minecraft. He's a Minecraft YouTuber. We all know. He said, what happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids? This is showing Mr. Beast's true colors, bro. This is poison that you selling, bro. Who don't know better don't than to trust the, the people. people. Who are you ain't a you man of the people. Realistic. You can sell things for the sake of making money. There's no problem with that. My only issue is that this is obviously unhealthy. As we can see in these screenshots here, the more high you marketing it to kids. Thing. We can see Jimmy here smiling, KSI, Logan Paul, fake ass smiles. We already know the deals. You know, they got the prime bottle festivals and all that. And basically, Lunchables with a different name, rip off team version. As you know, we can see in another image here, they have different versions like turkey stackums. So I assume they're coming out with turkey ham, if you're into chicken. They probably have that version too here we have like the nacho version i mean it looks good i'm, I'm not gonna lie if i was a kid i, I would probably want this too but that's the thing kids don't know any better like this shit is definitely not something you want to be giving to kids who are growing and need real whole foods nutrition vitamins calcium macro and micronutrients to help them on a daily basis when they're going to school or you know when they're working a job or whatever like i wouldn't give my kids this no hate but i'm, I'm just being honest it's happening again mr beast cannot catch a break so mr beast logan paul and ksi just came out with a competitor to lunchables called Lunchly. Now, since coming out with Lunchly, they have faced a ton of backlash. Other YouTubers like Dan TDM are coming out and condemning them for making this product. Basically, Dan's accusing them of taking advantage of their young fan base. And because of Dan's statement, both Logan Paul and KSI are having like a Twitter beef with Dan TDM. It's a little funny oh. and entertaining, not gonna lie. Yes, but yes. aside from the YouTubers calling them out, many parents have also come forward to call them out. This is because they're kind of advertising Lunchly as a more healthy alternative to Lunchables. Basically, parents are coming on social exactly. media to do things like show the actual nutrition in this new Lunchly. Basically, they point out how unless you're looking for better electrolytes in your kid's lunch, then Lunchly is barely better for you than a Lunchables. They also point out how on the website, the advertising basically encourages bullying by calling Lunchables mid. Basically, parents are concerned that kids might start judging other kids based upon what they're eating what? for lunch. People are also pointing out how the amount of food that you get in a Lunchly is a little bit less than what you get with the Lunchables. And while right now we don't know, everyone is assuming that Lunchly is going to end up being a little bit more expensive than Lunchables. So at the end of the day, if you're getting Lunchly, you're going to be paying a little bit more just to get a little bit. And they did the little drink test. You showing that they get more liquid, but what about the food? <laughs> You giving them more of this nasty ass drink, but you not giving them more food? Like, come on, I don't say nasty. I, I tasted it, it wasn't bad. I feel like it had a decent taste, but the the longer it sat in my mouth, I don't wanna say the longer I drank, cause I didn't finish it, but the longer it sat in my mouth, it, it was starting to taste like chemicals. And I said that in my video when I did a, a taste test <laughs> of the prime drink. It was just giving it a chemical like taste, which well, it was kind of nasty, but anyway. Um, but yeah, give them more food, if anything. Less. But ladies and gentlemen, what I do want to say is, if you are a parent, please do not feed your kids yeah, this garbage the maybe for a treat on the weekends, but what kid is going to want this as a treat? Or maybe a late night snack, like with the boys, you know, friends coming over to play games, like, all right, whatever, man. Their kids, they're going to want some shit, you know, to quickly scoff down while gaming. All right, whatever. But do not make this a habit. In my opinion, uh, just, just make lunch for your kids. You can get way more protein, way more macronutrients and vitamins by giving your kids, like, actual trying to cook for them every day. Beef, chicken, yeah. carrots, beans, brown rice, yeah, maybe this, spicy sauce on the side, like, and some fruit yeah. for their daily meal at school this relying on youtubers to feed your kids is crazy and i know it's gonna happen like literally a lot of people are consumers people just don't think twice they think it's because it's coming from a youtuber that this youtuber cares about my kids they don't sorry they don't. to you but that's just the sad reality they don't care about your badass kids they just want to make money that is the goal that is the objective and, and y'all gonna fall right for it because you know your kids gonna be like i want the lunch lease and you're gonna get it to shut them up and then they eating poison. But yeah, Mr. Beast just back to back showing his true colors. Nobody's expecting him to be a saint or anything. But again, this is a man who has always made it seem like he's for the people. You know, he wants to help everyone. Da da da. He's this great guy. But you selling the kids this bullshit. Are you a great guy? Are you? Are you Jimmy? I don't know. Anyway, interesting. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!